Welcome to KC24 Midday. I'm Joe Moeller. Alex Delgado is off. Thanks for joining us. We begin with that continuing coverage of that deadly shooting that took place in Gilroy. At least three people were killed when a gunman opened fire at the annual festival yesterday evening. In a press conference wrapping up a short time ago, they revealed the ages of those killed. Investigators say they are 6, 13, and a man in his 20s. A dozen others were sent to nearby hospitals. Police say the 19 year old suspect, Santino William Ligon, is dead, and a possible second suspect is still being sought. Connor Powell is in Gilroy with the very latest. A family in mourning. There's no words to describe because he was such a happy kid. You know, I don't think that this is fair. Six year old Stephen Romero was killed Sunday evening. When a gunman opened fire at the Gilroy Garlic Festival in California. Now we're praying for his mom and his grandmother. She got shot in one of her legs or something like that. His mother got shot also in the stomach and in one of her hands. She got shot. Witnesses say a band was starting its encore at the annual three day festival when they heard what they thought was fireworks or part of the production. There was security at the entrance, but authorities think the shooter used a tool to cut through the fence to gain access to the festival. Officers were in that area and engaged the suspect in less than a minute. Uh, the suspect was shot uh, and killed. ATF and FBI agents from San Francisco are joining the local departments with the investigation. We express our deepest sadness and sorrow for the families who lost a precious loved one in the horrific shooting last night in Gilroy, California. In Gilroy, California, I'm Connor Powell. Now we continue our team coverage with Dennis Valera. He was at that press conference that wrapped up about a half an hour ago. He brings us up to date. Dennis, what did we learn? Yeah, Joe, unfortunately, we still don't know motive. We don't know why this shooter went to this family-friendly event to just bring terror to people that were just trying to have a good Sunday at the park here in Gilroy. Now, when this happened around 5.40 p.m. yesterday, city officials telling us the Garlic Festival already staffs a large number of officers for the event. There were also 12 EMS crews on site to assist, so once shots were fired, response was pretty quick. Police Chief Scott Smithy saying three officers responded in a minute to confront suspect Santina Lagan. He commends those officers. However, it does doesn't take away the pain of losing young lives. I think any time a life is lost, it's it's a tragedy. Uh, but when it's young people, it's even worse. And uh, you know, it's just, it's very difficult. I I don't know that there's I don't know what if any association there is. It, it seems that this was a random act. But again, we've got a long way to go before we can come to a determination. What his, what his motivation was. Dozens of FBI agents are still there collecting evidence alongside 20 local agencies. It's suspected to take days to fully process that entire park. Now, we also learned the suspect did buy his assault rifle legally in Nevada earlier this month. And authorities, they are still exploring the possibility of another suspect. However, they did not reveal exactly what grounds they were exploring those leads on. Live here in Gilroy, Dennis Valeri, KC24, local news that matters. You can stay with us here on KC24 for continuing coverage on the Gilroy Garlic Festival shooting. You can get the latest updates on your mobile app or, or on our website, yourcentralvalley.com.